वेलकम बैक टू दिस चैप्टर टू वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल ऑन पावर वी आई बेसिक टू एडवांस्ड वीडियो सीरीज इन दिस चैप्टर यू विल लर्न कनेक्टिंग डेटा टू पावर बी आई एंड एडिटिंग और ट्रांसफॉर्मिंग द डेटा बाई यूजिंग पावर क्वेरी एडिटर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स लुक इन टू हाउ टू कनेक्ट डेटा टू पावर बी आई इन द होम टैब ऑफ पावर बी आई हेयर यू सी और डेटा ग्रुप इन द डेटा ग्रुप यू कैन सी गेट डेटा tool by clicking on this get data you can see different source from which you can connect the data beside get data tool here you can see most common data sources like excel workbook one lake data hub sql server enter data dataverse these are the most common data sources if you want to connect the data from other source you can click on this get data click on more where you will see all the data source options that is supported in power bi suppose that if you want to connect data from pdf document you can click on pdf then click on connect or you can directly double click on this pdf option this will open this file browser let me click on desktop where i have this sample data folder let me open it where i have a pdf document this pdf document has the population detail of top 20 countries let me double click on this pdf document now the data is being connected here you see the data available in this pdf document is given here one is the table 001 another one is page 001 let me click on this table 001 then i'll see what is in the data here you see the serial number country name and the population estimate is given if your data needs some editing before visualization in power bi then you have to click on the transform data option but if your data is perfectly organized no editing is required then you can directly click on this load button to load the data to power bi to explain how to edit the data by using power query editor here i am going to take a different data so let me close this navigator window Here I am going to take data from Microsoft Excel workbook so click on this Excel workbook this will open this file browser here I have two workbooks one is item information and the other is sales data first let's connect this sales data by double clicking on it at the left side of navigator window you can see the data that is available in that Excel workbook here you see the sales data is given to view this click on this box then here you can see the data if you see in the data there are few rows that is displaying the null values at the top if you see in the quantity sold the unit name pc is attached to the quantity value in this case we cannot do calculation from this value because it contains text in this data we need to do some editing or transformation before visualizing to edit or transform the data click on this transform data button here you see the data is opened in power query editor this power query editor application is integrated in power bi for data editing and transformation here i'll show you few examples of how we can edit the data by using power query editor there are so much more to learn in power query editor which we will cover in a separate video tutorial In this data we have to delete these row that doesn't have any value to delete these two row in the home tab you can see a remove row tool click on this remove row tool click on remove top rows here put the number of row that you want to delete here i have two rows to delete so put here two then click on okay here you see the two row are deleted whatever step you take here in power query editor will be given here here you can see applied steps are given here i removed the top two rows and you see removed top rows is given here if you want to cancel this step you can click on this cross button here you see the applied step is removed and again the two blank row are given here let me again click on remove row remove top row put the number of row that is 2 then click on okay the null row are deleted the next thing we have to do here is we have to make the value in row number 1 as column header for this simply click on this use first row as header option now here you see the first row is now given as the column headers 
next we have to split the unit name to a different column and keep the quantity only in the quantity sold for that we have a option that is split column for that first of all select the column that you want to split click on split column tool then select based on what you want to split the column here i want to split the column by number of character because the unit name contains two character p and c that is two character so i'll take this by number of character option in the number of character put two and i want to split the two character from the right so take this once as far right as possible option then click on ok now here you see the quantity and the unit is split to two different columns now we can do calculation based on this quantity column to rename the column you can right click click on rename then put a new name here i'll put quantity sold similarly to rename this column right click rename put here unit name then you can press enter to update the name now this data is ready for visualization we have applied these steps to transform the data now to load it into power bi here you have an option that is close and apply click on this close and apply then the data will be loaded to power bi which will be visible here in the data pane here you see the data is being loaded look at the data pane the sales data table is added click on this button to see the column headers here you see these are the column headers that is available in this sales data table similarly to add here another data click on excel workbook then double click on this item information workbook click on this checkbox to view the data in this data also we need some transformation so click on the transform data remove this first row which has the null value so click on this remove row tool remove top row then put one here click ok the first row is removed the second thing we have to do is we have to keep the first row as column header for that click on this use first row as header option now to load this table into power bi click on this close and apply here in the data pane the item information table is loaded click on this button to see the column headers so this is the way of connecting data from different source to power bi and editing or transforming the data using power query editor in the next chapter we will learn the data modeling which is creating the relationship between two or more tables thank you so much for watching this video see you in next chapter